All right, guys, we're about to crush a big workout. We just had some keno gains with creatine, which have been taken for more strength and size. We're getting stronger, and we had some of the new octane drop in really soon. So the Tropic Thunder, this stuff is crazy good. Now we're about to crush this workout. And we're doing something really cool this month. We're giving away some brand new iPhones to people on the Octane subscription. So really exciting, brand new iPhones. I haven't got the brand new iPhone yet. We're about to get that though. And Cairo's chilling. Cairo's having his rest day, buddy. It's rest day, eh? Give me a little paw. Give me a little paw. Oh, good boy. We're gonna crush this workout. We're gonna crush this workout. Damn right. One, one more paw. Okay. One more paw. One more. One. Okay, that's enough. Oh, I love you, buddy. All right, guys, we just got an Uber. About to go to the gym. I got my license plate renewed. Hey, how's it going? Yo, can you fucking put your mask on, dude? What are you doing? <laughs> Is my Uber driver, but he ain't wearing no COVID mask. He ain't, he, get that mask off, bro. Dude, can you please put a mask on? Like, this is not six feet. Like, we're gonna get, we're gonna die. Bro, I have the Delta antibodies. I'm gonna put up the 110s and try to be an extra medium boy. Okay, good. How many reps? I'll, I'll I guarantee six. Emil can't do one full rep with 110s all the way down to chest. Yeah, he does, he kind of half set. Well, the meal's all up, show, yeah. no go. Who's six? The meal's not hitting the one tens. There's no way. What? He's not doing it. <laughs> we'll see. We're gonna get the titties out. Today. I don't know. You, you know what? If your pineal gland is strong, you can hit it. Uh, a meal, the type of guy to drive into the wrong Dude, spot. Dude, this is like this is like the UK. Why are we on the right, the fucking left side? Nice. That's actually nice. a fair nice. point. That's nice. that's actually. That's actually the, the most logical argument you've made. All right, so I kicked things off with 120 pound incline dumbbell press. My friends hadn't get to, gotten to the gym yet, so I didn't record that unfortunately, but I hit 120s for nine, and now I'm repping out the 105s for my second set of reverse pyramid. Um, so I've actually been doing this with a greater range of motion. I'm bringing it a bit lower than I used to in the past, which is why I'm kind of working with a little bit lighter weight than, you know, maybe you've seen me do before where I've done 130s. At one point, I even did 140s. Um, but so now we're kind of working with 120s, 105s, and we're going to finish off with some 90s here. And again, the incline press is one of my favorite exercises to really build that fuck me now physique. Get the upper chest popping. It's a killer movement. So now Emil says he can do 110s. I call fucking bullshit. So he got it up there, but I'm not. And fail and you know emil i told you why aren't you listening bro i fucking know this shit i know you you're not doing 110s bro but now he wants to do it and he's gonna get jake to fucking lift half the weight so i don't know what he's doing look when i go to the gym i do my workout i don't tell people what to do if they want to listen they listen but you know emil he's he's in his own world so we're gonna let him fucking pretend he's doing 110s today and i'm just gonna focus on my my, my workout and you know people think i kind of throw you know my philosophy down their throat i don't do that i just do my own shit and like fucking people fucking become a part of it so now we're going down to 90s and i'm actually an idiot here because i had the incline was actually higher than usual here um my friend was doing shoulder press so i dropped the incline i didn't drop it down enough so this is actually a really really high incline and so i meant to do 12 i did 12 with 105s now i'm actually just doing 10 here but damn you can see that is a high high incline so that's going to be chest, but it's also going to be a little bit of the shoulders on that incline. Um, nonetheless, still a great workout, but I wouldn't go that high for incline press. That's a very high incline press. Um, so I like to do more of a 30 degree, but man, I love going to the public gym. I've been lifting at home for the longest time. I like going to the public gym. You can rep some machine work too. So I'm actually doing basically the heavy lifting reverse period with dumbbells. Now for the next chest movement, I'm doing... Um, some regular pyramid training for more reps. So I'm doing about 15 reps, um, rest in a minute, minute or two, doing 12, 10, eight. So about four or five sets um, with short rest to get more of that sarcoplasmic hypertrophy. So I like to mix that in, a little heavy lifting and, and, and you know some higher reps, shorter rest lifting. It's a nice balance to maximize your, your muscle growth. But I'm feeling pumped. You know, it's weird. My weight's kind of been random. Like I was... I was 185 and now today I'm like 182. So I just kind of cut like three pounds out of nowhere. So this is like, you know, one of my third or fourth sets. I, I'm not filming everything today, but we're just pumping it out. I'm not fully extending. I want to keep the tension on the chest and 
I'm lifting quite explosively. I always like to lift explosively because I find you become, you do build muscle like that, but you actually become more athletic. So some of those lifters that lift freaking slow, they have no athleticism. And now we're getting some biceps in. Um, I ended up doing about 145 pounds here and this felt pretty light. So um, I crushed like 10 reps. I actually love this machine. I love free weights, but I also love utilizing machines too. This machine felt freaking amazing. So crushed out my first set with like 145 for 10. Now Emil's about to show me up here. That's so light. Okay. Do you want me? Full stack, okay. Let's see it. You're, you're swinging. That's pretty good, bro. It's pretty strong. Wow. It's pretty strong, Emil. Your arms are insane. Arms are insane. What's your secret? So I was actually really impressed that Emil full stacked 200 pounds this machine. I didn't think he had it in him. I don't even think I had it in him, but like he did 200 pounds. I'm like, fuck it. I got to do this weight. I'm a little bitch. So uh, I'm like, damn, I don't know if I can hit this, but you know what? We got it up smooth, uh, but you don't really don't need to go that heavy on this kind of isolation movement. It's not necessary, but you know, I went for six reps. Form could have been a bit more complete, um, but we had to do it. You got to show, you got to show the boys up. Um, and so that was a heavy set about, about 200. So then I was down to drop it by like 20%. But here, Emil, he's, he's saying that I, I did a little better there. So, you know what? You got to give credit where credit's due. He knew his place. Sorry, Emil. We got to, you got to work on that, bro. Um, but now we're going down to the lighter weight. So about 160 doing reverse mirror training and it cut like, you know, you know, kit like 10 reps and then 140, um, or so. And actually one of the things I like to do on this machine personally is on my fourth set, I'll do 10 full reps followed immediately with 10 little pulses and it gets the biceps. It's the craziest pump. You know, Arnold said like, you know, fucking working out is like fucking the pump. It's like coming and fucking he's got girls over. And so he's coming day and night. And honestly, that's how I feel right now doing, doing the, doing the 10 and then 10 pulses. So give it a shot, hit four sets, reverse period training. And then on that fourth set, add in the 10 pulses. And it is killer i don't actually show it in this video just so you know um i i put that on instagram so check out the instagram you don't follow my instagram you're missing out and we're just going all day i'm hitting i might have hit five sets so yeah that was the last set where i hit the pulse ups and so now we're going into about you know basically just um, three, four sets of, of, of tricep pushdowns. I couldn't find a rope, so I'm like, fuck it, let's just do it like this. And I did about, you know, 12, 10, 8, 6, about four sets. Same weight, 12, 10, 8, 6, shorter rest, do a bit more of the pump. So I've been utilizing a little heavy lifting combined with shorter rest and pump work. Um, I really like implementing both equations. It keeps your training fun and fresh. Um, I'm actually working on a new, like, muscle building add-on to Movie Star Body that's gonna be doing this stuff. And I had a tight, I'm tight for time, so I'm just throwing in a single leg back extension move. I would have liked to finish off with some rear delts and stuff, but it's had on time, and I actually like this movement a lot. I got it from Ben um, from Knees Over Toes. It's supposed to help strengthen the glutes. It's gonna work the hamstrings a little bit and the low back, and I actually like to do this after my upper body workout sometimes, um, just to get my legs you know, a little bit more volume, a little bit more um, uh, frequency. Um, so this new routine I'm doing is freaking amazing. Um, where even some of the muscle groups are gonna get hit kind of like twice a week now, which is really good. Um, but yeah, this is a killer workout. So this one, like one leg, try 15 reps both sides and then another 12 reps, and you're gonna find your body is fried. Like I am, to be honest, I've never felt so activated. Go try that, it's fucking insane. The boy Devin picked me up. Fucking director Kino clothing, managing the subs. Dude, the new uh, new flavor of Tropic, Octane. Tropic Thunder? It's insane, bro. Oh, it's the best. Insane. So, I've been waiting so long for it. Yeah. <laughs> and we got a big surprise next week, bro. I know. Huge surprise. I know. Huge. Huge. And we crushed like two double steak Chipotle bowls. That was insane. That was very good. I've been a lot more chill with my tracking my calories and I've been I haven't really tracked calories. I just guesstimate it and I go by feel and I just monitor my weight. And if I need to tighten up, I tighten up. That's the way to do it long term. You want to have fun with it. And what's the takeaway of this video is that training is fun. Get a couple of your buddies, go to the gym, push yourself, track your work because it's a blast. 
Training isn't fun. Like, I don't know why anyone does not work out. It's crazy talk. And the best part of the keto body training is that we're building that fuck me now physique, focusing on the proportion, the shoulders, the upper chest. And now I've taken my training to the next level by building the freaking legs, building in the thick lower leg, the VMO, getting up to the Nordic curls and getting more thickness throughout your legs. So the whole physique is coming together and super cool. I'm actually launching my next coaching program, my next group coaching program, focused on gaining more muscle, focused on some of these new strategies where you're hitting your muscle groups twice a week and doing a bit more leg volume. So if you wanna join my next coaching group, I'm gonna put a little email list to join the waiting list. This is a six month coaching program. It's gonna be insane. You're gonna work with me and my coaches. I'm gonna be working on the fitness, but really the mindset to help you conquer it life, how to master life. So that is gonna be really, really awesome. And again, the two supplements I'm really using right now, besides the Keno Collagen Pancakes, are the Octane, but with the gains, which has creatine, carnitine, and choline. And I definitely find when you're training on this, the strength and PRs and you know gaining a bit more size comes easier. So make sure to check that out. In the summer and spring, I'll go off of it. And I've just been on it for the last, I wanna say three or four weeks. And man, like training on creatine and training off creatine, like it's not the same. Like when you're on creatine, like you just feel like you have more power, more strength there. And you have, you're a couple pounds heavier. I'm not quite as vascular when I take creatine. Yeah. So it's not perfect, but if you really just want to get stronger and bigger and fill up, man, I can't recommend the, the Kino Gains enough. It has creatine, but we also have L-carnitine tartrate, which is really, really cool and helps increase androgen receptor density, building the upper chest and shoulders. And we have choline, which is actually, is actually good for cognitive function. And creatine actually increases short-term memory and has cool benefits, reduces risk of Alzheimer's. But these three supplements in it, uh, creatine, carnitine, and choline are fucking killers. So I've taken creatine before. This works better. So one of my favorite two supplements to take is the Octane and the Gains. Take the Octane and the Gains, and it's amazing for putting on strength and muscle. If you enjoy this, these workouts and videos, smash the like button. We're doing more workouts with new people and maybe even show some workouts with the Kino Baddies. So smash the like button. Lots of new stuff is coming. And I'll show a day in the life of my effortless eating. Where I'm not tracking calories. I'll show you how I do it in the thought process. So if you guys want to see that, hit the like button.